Good morning, folks. It's a Wednesday morning, and uh, going with a <laughs> Cold River Soap Works. Yeah, it's cold outside right now. This particular one is scented with uh, tea tree oil, eucalyptus, and lavender, and um, starts out with 3.5 ounces. Um, going to follow the shave up today with uh, fine accoutrements, uh, uh, snake bite, and I've got it whipped over here in the Dreamscape Scuttle. Yeah, it is huge. It is a monster, but uh, easy to whip up the lather in there. Plenty of room. I mean, I, yes, I had a lot of fun this morning whipping it up. It took no time at all. I've got lots of whipped up right here and this is with a uh, maggots razor there you go bronze one I think this is a 22 millimeter knot it does a great job whipping up the lather look at that that is it, it was just awesome whipping it up this morning in this huge cuddle uh, I'll have a link down below if you're interested checking it out blade of choice today uh, it would be uh, Kai pink if you will um, this shaver here, the shave up, what piqued my interest in this particular one, and it doesn't necessarily have a brand name to it. it and if you go to eBay, which I'll have a link down below, uh, it comes in different colors of handles and whatnot. But what piqued my interest in this one here is how this is shaped. You kind of see how it's kind of, I guess you might say, bumpy through there. <laughs> I wasn't real sure exactly how this is going to shape. I seen this on a Kai uh, Woody, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I was interested in looking at that one there, wondering, you know, if this made any difference in the shave or not, this kind of shape, and uh, thought this one here would be an inexpensive to find, way of finding out whether it, is that a good thing or is it even a thing. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, about this one here, um, if you watched uh, Jeremy's uh, video, The Traveling Shaver, uh, he mentioned on his CJB, uh, this portion right here, when I got it, it was, it's loose. And, but once I put the blade in, it's no longer loose. It stays, you know, put. Uh, so in other words, build quality, there's another part right there that might be outputting to some folks. And then I also... On the back side, I guess you might say is, I'm assuming it's probably like injection molding or something of the sort, but anyhow, there's a rough spot right here that is pretty noticeable. Uh, the, the other thing I noticed about this particular one is that uh, it seems to need some help right here at the point where you might be able to tighten up the tension. It's, uh, I think, a washer of sorts. It doesn't look like it has one, or maybe it does. Maybe it needs uh, something a little different in there but at any rate um it's um uh, it is what it is like i say it doesn't have a particular brand name to it and uh this will be the fourth shave on this particular blade i've been checking it out testing it out see how it's working and it seems to be quite all right um uh, matter of fact uh, this setup has been pretty smooth uh, easy going shave very close efficient but it i don't uh, in other words, it doesn't, in other words, the blade doesn't feel real aggressive and it cuts right through the whiskers just fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just, it's kind of interesting to, to me just to see how it works out. Uh, it seems to be doing just fine, uh, but an inexpensive way to get started on something like that. But like I say, that shape was really interesting to me, wondering if it actually did anything for the shave. And so far... I, maybe it does. I don't know. I still haven't been able to figure it out. It just, I just know it works. <laughs> I haven't been able to figure out if it does anything special to it or not. I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning. And uh, my pre-shave oil that I've been using here of recent is, I uh, got it at Marshall's. This is the uh, Art of Shaving uh, pre-shave oil. And uh put a couple of squirts of it in my hand and work it into my face and uh, but like I say it's uh, this has been a very interesting shave of the past few days testing it out seeing how it's working and uh, like I said the build quality is probably not up to a lot of folks standards but it it does work I 
I just don't know how long it's going to last. Now the spring that is in there that provides the tension, um, it is very much quite adjustable. And I did try to adjust the tension on it to see if that wouldn't help hold that sliding part uh, in place. It had no effect. <laughs> so in other words, it's the blade that makes the difference. When I say the Woody was the, the Kai Woody was the one that really caught my eye and kind of wondered about the design, whether it makes a difference or not. And maybe it does, and I just don't realize it. Um, it the shapes I get with this are pretty easy going. In other words, I found it easy to get used to, to make my adjustments. It, it, it was just really, learning curve was really small. If you're used to shaving with one of these, I should say that, huh? Now, depending on what circle you travel in, Cold River Soap Works, um, their website is down. I guess from what I can figure out, the thought is that the, some, you know, some folks from time to time, you know, they, they either migrate from one, uh, company to another with their websites and redesign and so on and so forth so some people don't think that he's necessarily out of business but you know it could be possible that he's wrapped things up or he's just you know uh, having issues getting stuff lined out or just taking a while depending on how you want to look at it So hopefully the site will be back up sometime. If I remember right, this was the, uh, I guess you might say the inexpensive soap. Uh, for me, I like the scent when you're talking about eucalyptus and tea tree and then lavender, that combination. It does great for my nose, especially here of late. Uh, the weather here in Oklahoma can't make up its mind. I mean, what was it yesterday? We were in the 60s, and uh, now the next few days, our, higher, our high is not even above freezing. <laughs> the wintering mix is moving in. Um, I think, depending on where you're, back, where you're at here in Oklahoma, where I'm at, we're looking at maybe getting, I think there's, last time I remember checking it, four to six inches of snow. The line is just south of us. And uh, so in other words, it really depends on where it moves. It could move to where it's six to eight. So it'll be interesting how all this pans out. By the way, the lather is warm this morning. This is definitely on the wet side. I had a good time whipping it up this morning. Let's say it took no time at all. Um, Taking my time like I normally do, I don't even think I've worked on it for two minutes. This is really easy to use. I, I do think maybe the design uh, is helpful, especially for somebody starting out with the way that is shaped. I think maybe that could help how close you hold it to your face in other words at what angle it's easy for I think for some this reason why I think it's just so easy to use is because maybe how it's designed But that's me. <laughs> I've shaved with a shave bit of time or two. So I'm kind of used to the uh, to the way things are done with these. If you're wondering, I have a damp towel sitting over here off to the side. Wipe off the lather on it so it helps keep my sink water clean.
it has crossed my mind also with this particular shave that there are handles out there that are on eBay that are, are available. So in other words, if you had a Feather Artist Club and um, SS and so you're looking for a different color handle, you can get the different colored handles and I think they're running about 20 bucks a piece. And uh, I was thinking about checking out the length and see how compatible it might be with this and getting a handle for a, for a feather, but putting it on this setup here and see if that doesn't help work things out. But I will say, I should show that at the beginning. Kind of see that post right through there to helps with the, uh, the scales so they don't flex quite as much. But that also that post right through there also hits right here so that the blade doesn't come out through the bottom. And um, that'll be something I'll have to check out when I'm looking at possibly re you know, replacing the handle with something a little bit more, I guess you might say functional. This one here, I'm getting kind of concerned that after using it a little bit, it's, it's going to be flopping. And some people like it that way. I prefer it to be a little stiff. Two-pass shave is typically what I do with the uh, shave vent if I need to feel the need to catch anything that might be difficult for me. I have a spot right through here that is not easy to catch with the shave edge straight razor or whatever just because of the way it grows. Uh, if I really feel the need, I just grab whatever I got over here like an injector razor. It just takes a quick moment and I got that spot and I'm done, but that only happens once in a while, not very often, where I really feel the need to do that. I've gotten to the point now where I'm just adjusting my angle just a little bit through my strokes so I can catch that spot where it's, I guess you might say, acceptable. It's pretty smooth right now. That is one th thing I have to say. My shades with this shave bed have been uh, leaving my face smooth. Yeah, that's, that's how I should put it. it very comfortable. I was so surprised by it. Allen Block complete with rubber band from Crown King Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I've had this Allen Block for a good long moment. Got just a little bit of stinging right there. It's kind of kind of typical every once in a while while I'm talking and shaving at the same time that I'll end up with some stinging. But when I'm off camera, no, I, I, I get fantastic shaves like yesterday. No stinging whatsoever. It was as if I shaved with a DE blade. In other words, everything was just perfect. It was just, you know, a great shave. Really enjoyed it yesterday. But um, it's just too bad somebody didn't put their name to, <laughs> to the product instead of leaving it generic like that. Witch Hazel. This one here is unscented. Humphreys. Another find at Marshall's. Every once in a while, I'll find something at Ross, but not very often. TJ Maxx is another place to go to. Don't go there near as often because it's a few more miles away. But for us, uh, Marshalls is relatively close to where we're at and where we do a lot of our shopping. I should say the circle we travel in. All right, now for the real fun. Snake bite. <laughs> this ought to be a... Real eye opener this morning, huh? Especially for this morning. Yes, definitely feel it working. I had a lot of fun doing this shave. I tell you what, to me, shave at shaves and straight razor shaves are always fun, interesting. What you pick up and what you learn and the experience of it all. Great shave this morning. Hope everybody's staying warm, stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shades to you.